At this particular time, there are all kinds of people who are located in the Tenderloin, like prostitutes, homosexuals, uh, alcoholics, uh, what we may call straight people, as well as hippies, all kinds of ethnic groups, you name it, and we've got it in the Tenderloin. But Glide has tried uh, to be that kind of uh, church which uh, expresses itself and its concerns for the total community. While I was there as an intern at, at Glide, uh, my assignment was to work with the young adults uh, that came to the church as well as the young adults in the city, and particularly in the Tenderloin. One of our concerns was that the young adults there often did not have any kind of place to be together that was a safe place just to belong and to talk about their concerns, their problems, their uh, wishes and their needs, to uh, nothing to really have a voice in, in those things that are impacting their lives a lot. And at that time, of course, the uh, police were harassing gays and so forth uh, on the streets a lot. And so that was a major concern, and that was one of the major involvements uh, that I had. But I also learned that early on that uh, many of the cops were Irish, Catholic. So I, I never wore a collar before, but I put one on <laughs> every time I went to jail. And uh, I got in, you know, they would say, yes, Father. <laughs> I got a lot of respect. In fact, I would get calls, you know, late at night, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning um, by kids who got arrested from the cops. And um, they would say, you know, I, I got arrested, I'm in jail, uh, bail me out. <laughs> I said, okay, hang on to 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, I'll be there. And uh, at that time, I owned a um, Sunbeam sports car. And I used that, that car has been used so many times as collateral for bail. <laughs> uh, I was lucky that the kids always showed up to court because otherwise I would have lost my means of transportation in San Francisco. Early on, just as kind of helping to build the experience of fellowship, was uh, around Thanksgiving and Christmas, we had a um, special get-together uh, turkey dinner uh, in the basement of the Glide Church. And this was put on by this, these young adults, and of course with the support of the church and providing resources. I also started uh, with Vanguard. Friday and Saturday night dances in the basement of Glide. I believe these, these were probably the first gay dances sponsored by a church. <laughs> Columnus did a story about our, uh, we had Vanguard, which was the gay prostitutes, and they, uh, they had a dance. And this guy hit 400 newspapers, you know, with his column, you know, uh, t talking about this awful thing that had happened at Glide, where Young men were dancing cheek to cheek and all that kind of, it really went into great detail. And by God, here came in some telegrams from the Southern bishops, uh, two or three of the Southern bishops and conferences in Texas and uh, Alabama and all, uh, asking Bishop Tippett to defrock us. And he just picked up the telegrams and the letters and said, Louis, you answer. Uh, I knew that the bishop would back me as long as I kept him informed. He didn't like to be surprised. He didn't want somebody calling up with something. So I'd call him in the middle of the night if need be to let him know, you know, there's going to be something happening. Uh, we were up against other obstacles. In fact, Glide itself was experiencing some split over this because Cecil Williams was very active in the African American community and they were the beneficiaries of one of the anti-poverty program areas. And the sense was, well, the, we've only got so much money, this pie of money, and it's divided four ways now. If you divide it still another way, then you're going to have less money for each of the other target areas. And so there was this competition over how much money was going to be available. And so all the politics of that got involved. But yes, we succeeded in getting voice uh, so that people felt that they were heard and as a result monies began to flow into the area for addressing their concerns.